Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? You know, uh, True Crime and the uh, Dolphin Emulator, I was able to fix it, but the problem was a couple of things. Number one, I forgot to select Dual Core. Uh, there's the option on the emulator where you can select the Dual Core. So, when you select the Dual Core, then you are able to use uh, your dual core processor so that way they can render this emulator to its best possible uh, speed. As you can see it's running good now. Uh, I have no issues. The game is running smooth. As you can see right here. I can get out of the car. You will see once I get out of the car. No issues. Uh, everything runs smooth. He runs fast. Uh, everything's cool. Everything is smooth. Uh, so the problem was the uh, enabling the cheats. There's a couple of things. You have to enable the cheats and you have to enable uh, dual core. Uh, but I'm not going to do the live stream today, guys. Maybe tomorrow I'll do it because right now I'm busy. I got to go to work tonight, so I won't have time to do it. So I just wanted to do this short little video just to show you that um, it works. Uh, so I'm going to show you exactly what you have to do to, to get this to work. It's really not that difficult. I'm going to show you really quick. Uh, like I said, it works fine. No issues. Uh, as you can see, this is my controller. No issues. Everything's smooth. Um, see how fast he's going. Uh, so uh, There's no slowdown. Uh, this is true crime, Streets of LA. Uh, same thing goes with the uh, uh, true crime, Streets of New York on GameCube. Now, keep in mind, this is a GameCube emulator. So, I'm going to exit the game and I'm going to show you exactly uh, what you need to do to get this to work, to, to get this to, to be fixed. All right, so the first thing you have to do, you have to go where it says config. This is on the Dolphin 5.0. You have to go on a configuration. Uh, okay. And you have to make sure that this is enabled. These two right here. You have to make sure that the uh, dual core right here, that it's enabled and that cheats are enabled as well. Uh, this was something that I didn't uh, implement it. And that's why I was having such a slowdowns. Uh, considering that I have a i7 processor here, I was really wondering, like, what the heck is going on? I have a really fast uh, processor, i7, six cores uh, here on this uh, Ultrabook. And I'm like, what's going on? This is a very powerful processor. Like, what's happening? Uh, that's what was happening. Uh, you have to select dual core speed up right here and enable cheats. That's pretty much all you had to do and it works fine I can show you the demonstration right here uh, without any editing I'm gonna go ahead and click open and we're gonna start the uh, true crime streets of New York uh, right here streets of LA I'm sorry and you will see it's gonna work fine as you can see right now No issues, everything's working fine. You can see me, that's me right there. Yes, I'm laying on the bed, I'm too lazy, man, I'm too tired. There it is. You will see, it's much smoother now, no issues. I'm doing this video for you guys uh, who also want to use the emulator and are having this issue. As you can see, there's no slowdowns, everything is smooth. The music it's on. So everything's running smooth. Um, I wish that this doesn't. I wish that this didn't happen before my live stream. Next time I'm gonna. Before I start live streaming, I'm going to double check everything to make sure everything's running smooth. Um, 
So here, we're going to resume the game, and you will see no issues, no problems. It's going to start. There we go. That's me, Mr. 4 k Upscaler. Sorry the way this video is. It's kind of half-assed. That's because I'm tired. I don't care. <clears throat> so I'm just doing this video to help you out. For those of you who don't have a GameCube, but you want to use the emulator, and you're having this issue, this problem, and that's why I'm doing this video, to help you out. As you can see, no problems. Everything's smooth. Lucky. The bullet went right through. Mad as hell, though. What can I say? I told you I work alone. Geez, point made. I'll have Rosie work intel for you from now on. A desk job, huh? Speaking of intel, I hope you learned something, because the bistro owner ain't talking. Well, the bunk's pretty clueless. FOB, fresh off the boat. Here. Yes. You'll see uh, it's going to load up pretty fast, no issues, no problems, and uh, everything will be smooth. It takes about uh, maybe 20 seconds to load. That's because uh, it's trying to communicate. There we go. No problems, no issues. As you can see, runs great. Go inside the car. Let me just turn down the music a little bit. Because I don't want to get flagged. There you can see. No issues, problems, run smooth. So you have to enable the uh, dual core. You have to go and make sure you select the dual core. Uh, that's the way to do it. If you don't select the dual core and if you don't enable cheats, uh, that's what's going to happen. All right. So it also depends on your processor as well. Uh, another thing you need to do, you need to uh, remove some of the background applications that you might have on your uh, laptop. But other than that, you know, now it works better. <clears throat> But you got to remember, uh, guys, when it comes to the emulators, uh, it's it's a it's a lot of hassle. It's a lot of pain in the uh, pain in the ass. Okay, because you have to deal with all sorts of tweaking. Uh, majority of GameCube games that are exclusive for the GameCube will work great on the uh, Dolphin. The problem with these types of games, True Crime from the uh, Activision and others, they're third-party games. And you can't expect the emulator to emulate these third-party games really good. Because uh, they were specifically, the emulator was specifically designed to run the uh, exclusive uh, GameCube games. Okay. So there you have it. That was the video. Um, and the one thing I want to say before I end this video. Um, whatever suggestions you guys might have you know if you have a suggestion for something on my channel uh, I welcome it and if you have suggestion for something that I should do uh, just do me a favor guys just let me know offline you know don't tell me that during the live stream let me know offline let me know through my community page there's many different ways you guys can contact me you can contact me through my community YouTube page through uh, Discord, through a um, Facebook Messenger, through a Xbox Messenger, PlayStation Messenger. There's many different ways you guys can contact me, and you can put, you can give me all these suggestions, you know. But I just don't like, you know, me wondering. I just don't like these suggestions while I'm doing the live stream. Because then I have to focus on what you're trying to tell me, and then the live stream turns into something different. You know what I mean? So just let me know off the stream. You know, 
so that's it. That's all I wanted to say, you know. All right, so there you go. There you have it. Uh, hopefully this video helps you. You know, it works better than what we had before, as you can see. Uh, it's much faster now. Uh, you see the guy is running much faster. Now, from time to time, there's a couple of slowdowns here and there, but it's nothing that's going to uh, affect your gameplay. Uh, you know, this works much better than what we had before. As you can see, no issues. But that's the thing about the emulators, you know, you can't expect these games to run smooth. They will have some issues, but uh, next time I do a live stream, I'm going to make sure I double check the game. I'll make sure I double check everything to make sure everything's running smoothly before I start the stream. Uh, and that's something that's my fault on my end. I should have double checked that before I did the live stream. But then again, you guys have to keep in mind... Um, when I'm doing the the emulators, uh, some of these emulators are, you know, like I said, when it comes to third-party games, uh, they don't work as well. They usually work great with exclusive GameCube games that were designed for GameCube. Uh, like I said, Star Fox Adventures works great. Uh, the uh, Luigi's Mansion looks works great. All of these other uh, Nintendo games work great. All right, I want to give a shout out to Expert Joy, uh, Expert Walkthrough Joy, uh, Expert Joy. Thank you, man, for helping out. Thank you for uh, uh, making sure you want to help out the channel. I, I want you to know that I appreciate that. I don't want you to have any kind of hard feelings or something like that. It's just that. Um, I know you understand, I'm trying to, you know, when I'm streaming something, I'm trying to focus on that stream, but not necessarily focus on uh, some technical aspects of what I should do, you know, so, again, thank you for you helping out the channel, and I do appreciate that, so, that's all I want to say, other than that, there you go, guys, um, Hopefully you appreciate everything that I do for you. Again, I do this for you, guys. I don't do this for me. I do it for you. you know. So just wanna, I just want to clarify that, which I think should be, uh, it should be known by now. And I, and I do this by myself. It's not like I have a interns. It's not like I have a staff that's around me that it's helping me out. So I just want you guys to understand that. All right, well, there you have it. There you go. Hopefully this video helps you out a little bit. Like I said, this is much better than what we had before. Now, graphically, it's okay. It looks all right. But then again, this is the emulator. This is an old game. It is what it is. Uh, this is the best that I can get for this game to run. So, there you have it. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate it.